All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nick. As always, you guys can call me Touch Ninja, and today we are reaching the end game, Thanos style in Pokemon Go. We are about to hit level 40, which is the absolute max level in the entire game. It took me literally the entire summer to do so. A lot of walking, destroyed an entire like a brand new pair of sneakers, spent a ton of money of gas, and mainly spent a lot of money with in-game purchases. It is a mobile game. It's built around microtransactions. Whatever, I enjoyed I enjoyed every second of it, so it was okay to me. And I thought that I would share this video of hitting max level with you guys because I thought it's such an important moment. Why not? I run a gaming channel, share this moment with you guys. So I really enjoy this new uh, artwork that they have on the menu screen. I think it's really cool. Charizard is my favorite Pokemon of all time. If you guys didn't know that, uh, I just thought I'd share with you guys. So this is me. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> so close to the 5 million XP that is required to hit level 40. It's a total of 20 million XP uh, to in the game to reach, to reach max level. I am currently walking at Dino, and as you can see, I have walked a metric shit ton of 144 kilometers, 0.9 kilometers. It's actually, actually it's the metric system. I just. <laughs> Kilometers, baby, <laughs> and uh, stupid miles. Um, and yeah, so this is what I look like in game. I rock that Charmander hoodie like a G because like I said, Charizard is my favorite Pokemon of all time. And I have edged out the level. So we're gonna do this today. We're gonna get the little animation. It's the one of the most satisfying things in the game is when you level up for the first time. And I have a gift ready from a friend who has graciously decided to hang on. Actually, even though I don't really need the 100,000 XP, but just out of habit, I will pop a lucky egg. I think like a number one, Brandon Tan, the number one player in the world has like a billion XP. Like literally the XP doesn't go any higher in the game than a one billion. Let us pop this gift. Let's do this together. Let's do this together. Three, two. Oh wait, I got, no, 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 I gotta prep the gift first. A little bit of four play first. Three, three, two. One. Oh, baby. Got an egg, some extra stardust, but we don't care about that because we just hit Ultra Friends, which will give us 50,000 XP, 100,000 with the boost. And that will push us to 100,000 to level 40. Oh, yeah. Feels so good. Feels so good to not have that bar underneath my my name. So let us do a little bit of show and tell of what my Pokemon account looks like at this moment and the type of Pokemon uh, that I'm using these days. So uh, these are the Pokemon that I have. Every time I look at one of these Pokemon uh, that are on the screen, it just reminds me of like how much time I've dedicated towards this game. Just because even leveling up on a single Pokemon in this game it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of resources uh, to do so. Um, so, and each each one of these Pokemon has like a story. I can like I can look at each Pokemon that I have in this list and tell you exactly the time that I got it, and for the most part where I got it as well. If it was a really good one, I can tell you exactly where I caught it. I stopped playing uh, right before raids came out. The only raid Pokemon that I had, I actually captured during a work trip uh, that was in San Francisco. All the other Pokemon that I have on this list were Pokemon that I captured after I started re replaying the game. Uh, all the legendaries you see, all the stuff that I leveled up after uh, when, after when Arbor Mewtwo came out. So probably the highlights in terms of some of the stuff that I have. The most important thing or the biggest thing in this game, one of the biggest things anyways, is capturing Pokemon with perfect IVs. Uh, and they are based, in this game they're called Hundos. That's the slang term that my city used for them. 100% Hundos, etc., etc. So I got a couple of Hundo legendaries right here. Um, Mewtwo is the best Pokemon in the game. He has the highest attack power as well as the biggest move pool. He's like the all-rounder um, just because he has a, such a huge move pool. Add a second move, you can have Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Focus Blast, Psychic. You get a Shadow Ball one, which is out now. There's an event going on right now. But I captured this Hundo Mewtwo, um, added Ice Beam to him. I actually had this during a lucky trade. This is a Shadow Ball Mewtwo, which is the most useful Pokemon in the game, just because Shadow Ball is more useful against raid bosses than a stab attack like Psychic is. Um, I got that in a lucky trade. 
uh, with a friend who has generously donated me one. Got a Hondo Requeza. I, I love the red borders that goes around the three stars. And then I caught a 96 Shiny. And then just going back to the vein of Mewtwo, I didn't think that I was going to catch another Hondo Mewtwo, so I leveled up the first one. But I, I was very fortunate enough to actually capture a weather boosted Hundo, which I probably should have waited for. But the chances of catching two Hundos were so low, I thought it was fine, but I did catch it. Uh, funny thing is, I probably will never level this one. Uh, it's just gonna sit in my inventory, as sad as that will make some of you guys. A shiny version, they just released the shiny version uh, within the last month. This is a 98 ID one. And more recently, they actually reintroduced the Shadow Ball Mewtwo in EX Raids with the shiny possibility. It's got, this is probably the most, i say the most rarest and the most desirable thing in the game right now. You can only get it in EX Raids and you can do only like two or three of them in a single week. Uh, and you're still, so it's basically, and the shiny chances, you have to still get the shiny. So it's just layers and layers of RNG working against you. I screamed like a little girl when I caught this. It's definitely a candidate for a lucky trade though with a friend, uh, just to raise up those IVs a little bit. Uh, so it's probably the rarest thing that I had in my inventory, other than some old legacy Pokemon that have legacy moves, uh, old moves that you can't get anymore basically. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to scroll past, like I have, I use this app on iPhone called PokeKey, so I add like the IVs as well as the attacks. So yeah, like I said, all this stuff, uh, it's a lot of time, a lot of emotional investment as well, financial investment and just stuff that like new stuff, old stuff, like this Vaporeon was caught in 2016, one of the oldest Pokemon that I have in my inventory. My favorite pro Pokemon probably, it's still, even though it's not the greatest, is still my very first Charizard <laughs> that I captured uh, in the game. It's, it's, it's just my boy. He's my boy. Uh, has so much. I remember exactly where I caught this in San Francisco, uh, next to the water in the, underneath uh, the Oakland Bridge. Uh, that's where I captured this guy. And yeah, like you guys, if you guys know me at all, you guys know that I like Pokemon. I love Pokemon. It's been with me since I grew up. And it's been a fantastic time uh, jumping back into Pokemon Go. I've learned a lot about my city. Uh, I've met a lot of new people playing this game. I've gone out and done what the game has told me. I've gone out and go, just go. And I've had a lot of fun the entire way through. So uh, it's been surreal hitting level 40 and playing this game again just brings lots of joy to my life. So I thought I would share it with you guys. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video of hitting max level in Pokemon Go. I am going to bring you guys some more Pokemon Go videos just because I enjoy this game so much. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, a thumbs up is always appreciated, and I will see you guys next time, right? As always, have a fantastic day.